you have a statistical question that you want to answer and you need to collect data to answer that because that's how we answer statistical questions is we collect data and then we look at the data. Um, and so there are three different ways that we could collect data and we call those statistical studies. So basically we start with a question and then we say, all right, we want to answer this question. We're going to collect data by doing a study. And then we're going to look at that data and figure out the answer to our statistical question, or at least um, some inferences we can make um, based on that data. So the three different types of studies that you could do to be able to answer your statistical question are a survey, an experiment, or an observational study. Um, each of these have their own uh, unique qualities and things that make them better for certain situations. Um, so first, a survey. A survey is basically you ask people questions and they give you answers. You ask the same questions. Um, so you select a random group of people and you ask them all the same questions and then you look at the data. So for example, what my statistics class did earlier this year where they sent out a driving survey to all of you guys at the school. They asked you questions about your driving habits and then we analyzed that data and made decisions about um, different things based on that data. The second type of, ex of statistical studies is an experiment. So an experiment is where you divide um, a group of people into at least two groups and you apply a treatment to one group and not to the other. Um, and then you record the results, the differences in the two groups um, that were, you know, the one that was getting the treatment and one that wasn't. So, um, what I want you to think about though, is I want you to not think of treatment just as like a pill or a drug of some sort. You know, that's what we often think of. Someone has an experiment, right? Like, oh, here's this new um, ADHD medication. We're going to give it to this group of kids and not this group of kids and see what happens. Um, but that's not just the only type of experiment. Experiments can be, treatment can be lots of things. Maybe treatment is a diet plan um, or an exercise regimen. So you say, I'm going to, you know, group these two people into two different groups, and then I'm going to um, have these guys exercise a certain number of minutes a day and these guys not. The exercise is a treatment. It could even be sleeping. So you could say um, the treatment group is going to sleep eight hours a day. The non-treatment group is not. Um, and so treatment can mean lots of things, but, but again, basically you give that treatment so you kind of like force people to do a certain thing and then you have other another group that doesn't do that certain thing and then you record the differences between the two groups. The final kind is an observational study and an observational study is very much like an experiment um, where there are two groups and one is getting a treatment and one is not. The difference is you are not applying the treatment in an observational study. Um, this is people who already chose to do that treatment themselves, to do something themselves, and then you look at the results later. Um, for example, uh, if we wanted to study the effects of drinking in pregnancy, um, it would be unethical and absolutely wrong to do an experiment where we took groups of pregnant women and told pregnant women, okay, you are going to drink and you are not, and we're going to see what happens because we know for a fact that it very heavily affects the, the baby and that we would be um, intentionally harming a baby. That's pretty terrible. So we couldn't do an experiment for that, but we could do an observational study. We could look at women who had babies and we could ask them if they drank or not and, you know, the amounts they drank. And then we could do an observational study and see what happened during their pregnancy that um, was different than women who didn't drink. Or maybe what happened with those children after they were born um, that didn't happen to the women who didn't drink. So that's an observational study. Um, observational studies can also be something very simple. It doesn't have to be... Uh, huge treatment. Um, sometimes it can be something as simple as um, counting the number of people who um, who recycle or something like that. Um, as you're driving down the road, you can see, you know, certain, uh, you can count the number of people that have their recycling bins out. Um, that can be an observational study as well. Again, you are not applying any treatment. You are not causing anyone to do anything. You're just looking at people who are different and then seeing the differences um, in like the outcomes for those two people. So let's figure out when we would use a survey, when we would use an experiment, and when we would use an observational study. So maybe an example of a sample survey would be um, the newspaper wants to know if you're going to vote for a certain candidate. They're going to call um, random people in their, um, you know, in their area, and they're just going to ask them these questions, um, you know, and everybody answers the same questions and, and um, that's a survey. So an experiment, um, 
let's see. Oh, this is a good example. A doctor applies a clinical trial of a blood pressure medication. So there's blood pressure medication. They want to see if it works. They divide people into two different groups. They say, okay, you both have, you all have high blood pressure. Let's give you blood pressure medication. Let's not give you blood pressure medication. Or they give them like a placebo um, so that they think that they are getting some kind of treatment. So nobody really knows um, if they're getting treatment or not. Um, and then they see what happens. Um, that's actually a really good uh, thought on experiments. And we might talk about this later, but um, experiments have, the people who are in the experiment have to not really know that they're in the experiment um, a lot of times. And they have to be like randomly selected to be there. So um, in the case of, say, like an exercise program, if you just select, if you ask people to volunteer to be a part of an exercise program um, and then you compare them to people who didn't volunteer uh, that doesn't really make any sense right because the people who volunteered are probably more motivated they are maybe um, going to be eating better and making healthier choices because they are um, wanting to lose weight whereas people who didn't volunteer don't want to lose weight and so um, it's in an experiment um, you need to have similar types of people and the people who are getting the treatment not um, maybe aren't always going to know that they're getting the treatment. So in the case of like a, a pill, you would give certain people a placebo, which means just like a sugar pill or a pill that has literally no medication in it. Um, so that because if you're taking a pill every day, excuse me, you might think that you're, you know, like your behavior might change automatically, even though you didn't actually take any medication. You might have seen this with maybe a younger sibling you have that has ADD or something like that. Oftentimes when they take medication, even if the medication itself isn't kicking in yet, they know that that medication helps them calm down. And so it's a mental thing and they start calming down already. Um, so anyway, in an experiment, a lot of times you have things like placebos where they just give you a fake medication um, so that you don't know if you're getting the real medication and that helps keep the, um, the results. Uh, true. Okay, and so then an observational study, another example would be a grocery store that wonders how many people use recyclable bags. And so they count, as people are coming through, they count how many people use recyclable bags or reusable bags. All right, so how many hours per day do lions sleep? Um, if this was our statistical question, how, what kind of study would we use to find this out? Um, well, we can't ask can't ask the lions how many hours do you want to sleep or how many hours do you sleep so this is going to be observational this is something we're just going to observe and we're going to see um, how many hours they sleep uh, how many students in a school would like a cafeteria to serve breakfast so again this is our statistical question Ugh, I can't even spit it out but you know what I mean um, what kind of study would we do this one we would do a survey right we would just ask a certain number of students if they would like to serve breakfast and then finally a group of plants is not growing well compared to the rest uh, what should we change to improve their growth again this is our statistical question and we would actually can we could do an experiment because it wouldn't be immoral to do an experiment on plants we could see because if we kill a couple plants it's like not the end of the world right so we can totally do an experiment to see um, which treatment for these plants would work best.